Change comes slowly to Toronto. Any slower you'd think the city would be moving in reverse, but change does happen. I give you the example of Downsview Park. Downsview Park opens on June 28th, that's a week Thursday. It was declared Canada's first national urban park by the federal government back in 1999. So it's taken us quite a while to get to the point that it's at now. When it opens next week, Torontonians will get their first real glimpse of just what has come to pass here. It's actually a park. There are places to look at things, paths to walk on, ride bikes, all kinds of things. We're here today with David Soknacki. He's the chair of the Downsview Park Board. David, Downsview Park has had a long and often painful genesis, but it looks as if it's finally coming to pass. Something's coming to pass here. What's happening? And, and there's a big opening next week. Tell what, What's exactly going to open? What's going to happen? Well, it's going to be the final opening of a lot of the public realm here. It's going to be the boardwalk that we're standing on. It's going to be the pond, the lake behind it. It's going to be areas for, for running and jogging and cycling. It's going to be the circuit path. It's going to be uh, everything from the pavilion to the orchard to the parking lot. There's a lot lot of investment going on is going to be opening for the public. So there you have it, an, an early look at the new Downsview Park. This is what you're going to see next week. It's still not entirely finished, but I think that there's enough here now that we can see Downsview Park starting to emerge from kind of an abstract concept into a real place. It will change the entire neighborhood. It will change the city. Once the subway at the north end opens in 2015, it will become directly accessible from downtown Toronto. So this is going to be a very interesting place to watch over the next few years. Indeed, an exciting place to watch. For the Star.com, I'm Christopher Hume.